when I saw this title, I had to laugh. This is hilarious to me. Courtney Clinney's parents did a recent interview. And during the interview, they had the nerve and audacity and the gall to say that if their daughter was black, she would not be getting prosecuted. Where in America do our women take someone out and they don't get prosecuted? Where? Where? Where does this happen? Our people go to jail every day in America for crimes that never happened. Exonerations happen every day. Our people are still going to jail for marijuana and getting astronomical sentences. There's still people from the crack epidemic still sitting in jail. So I would like to know what country do you take someone out and you are black and you're not prosecuted? Where? <laughs> what state in America? <laughs> Give us some details here. For real. So the model accused of rubbing out her boyfriend, her parents did an interview attempting to defend their daughter by claiming she would not be prosecuted if she was black. I can't believe they said that with a straight face. Mm -mm -mm. So she's also been accused of using racial slurs at Christian Obamselli in an effort to make him leave. The disturbing incident came to light during a recent interview with Courtney Parents, Deborah, and Kim Clenny. This is not the first time Courtney used racial slurs on her boyfriend, and it caught the public's attention. Earlier this year, Christian secretly recorded Courtney repeatedly calling him the N word during a heated altercation. Yeah, and the sad part is. If he would have used some common sense and left the situation he was in, he would actually still be alive. The audio, which has since gone viral, paints a harrowing picture of the toxicity that plagued their relationship. Deborah and Kim, who are now facing criminal charges for illegally accessing Christian Obamselli's computer after his ultimately uh, an untimely demise spoke candidly about their daughter's behavior. Yeah, um, you know what? She was probably acting like that in childhood. She was probably throwing a lot of temper tantrums because she just seems like the type of child that would have done that. So Deborah and Kim revealed that Courtney had been attracted to Christian partly because of his race. That's what her parents are saying. Which raises questions about the motive behind her use of such a derogatory term, the N-word. Her mother claimed that Courtney told her no self-respecting black man would stick around after being called that name. She's right about that. She's right. If you even got half a brain, let's say you do favor white women, because we know some do, but it's absolutely not the majority of black men. But if your wife or your girlfriend use the n-word yes i mean i guess some of y'all would stick around but i see a lot that would they would not stick around and take that you know and it's a shame that he did not use better common sense in the whole thing he absolutely just didn't 
So <clears throat> she also said that she does not think her daughter would have been prosecuted if she were black or if Christian was white. So you're saying if a black woman did exactly what your daughter did to a white man, she would not be prosecuted. That is an outright lie. That is a lie. I don't know how she pulled that one out of her backside. I'm serious. I don't know where she came up with that. But check that out. Her mother revealed that she dated Christian because she was attracted to him over his race. So you didn't like anything else about him, like his personality or his mannerisms, or you love th certain things about him. He just had to be black in order to be good enough to date. That's it. That's all she was looking for. I'll tell you what, some of y'all may not be offended, but that's definitely offensive. So y'all, you're going to have to tell me what you think over what her parents said. Mm, mm, mm. I can't believe they let that come out of their non-existent lips. But they did. <laughs> they did. Y'all, I guess we're going to see a lot of things come out when she finally goes to trial. And I, you know, there's already things that came out recently that I found out. You know, that's a lot deeper than what we have heard about, you know, and I just can't imagine how much more is going to come to light by the time they go to trial, because now that her parents are detained, they're going to have to go to trial for what they did and not turning over Christian Obamselli's laptop. So look like we're going to be looking at more trials from the Clenny household. Boy, it is really true that saying the apple don't fall far from the tree because it is definitely the case in this situation. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace family.